G'day Ben. Hey Glenn, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Well here I am at the Xenergy stand with Ben and look they've got some pretty amazing batteries here using a technology that's not so well known. So Ben, what does this battery use? Uh, lithium titanate, so it removes the carbon out of the battery and replaces it with titanium which is a significantly more stable product. So it lasts a hell of a lot longer and has significant safety features over the, the normal lithium batteries. I see you've got one of the cells here. Can we have yep. a little close up of that? Look at that. Okay. It's, uh, it's massive. Yep, solid state rolled uh, rolled up, very, very stable. They originally came out of buses, trains and the like, so they don't mind a bit of a bump or a rattle or any of that sort of stuff. So, uh, significant changes to their longevity and probably cost per cycles over the, their lifespan. So the question people always ask, you know, me anyway, is which is the best battery? And I say it really depends on what you want to do with it. Uh, where do you think these batteries sit in the market? Um, they're probably a premium product where most batteries tend to last five, ten years, maybe two to five thousand cycles. We have a 20 year warranty with a 22,000 cycle warranty. So we're looking at minimum four times the lifespan just on our warranty. That's not when they die. So we're possibly projecting somewhere close to 50 years in lifespan, maybe. To be tested, 100,000 cycles, no one's done that yet, so we're not sure. Yeah, it's pretty hard to cycle that long. <laughs> but I guess there's, yeah. there's more to cycling than one day. You yep. might have other applications where you need lots of cycles. So we can actually cycle this battery significantly faster than most inverters can actually currently do, but our warranty states that you can cycle every day, three times per day. Three times? Yep, and that's within warranty. So we don't have a problem with it going potentially more than that, um, but over a 20 year period, 22,000 cycles is three times every day for 20 years. And I guess shifting that energy is what it's all about because you, you're capturing your solar, you're using it, you're capturing it, using it. Yep. And so this can capture very quickly solar energy and solar. Yeah, yeah, so sporadic sunlight days where you're not sure whether you're going to charge your batteries very quickly. One of the huge benefits of this is just a small amount of sunlight. You can really rapidly charge these, unlike a lot of other batteries which would uh, really struggle when the high charge cycles, I guess. I can see so, another application though, and this is a personal one. I've got yep. an electric vehicle, right? Correct. So when I come home, I want to just plug it in a charge, but they tend to draw a lot of current. They do. So if I had a, one of these, more a group of these batteries, they can supply that rush of power to yep. transfer it back certainly, to my vehicle. Certainly can. Um, I believe the cell will probably go close to 10 C, so 10 charge cycles an hour. Yep. Nothing on the planet currently will able to do that through the inverters that are around. So 3 C we can certainly do, um, yep. but that's a very rare inverter. Um, warranted definitely at 1.25C, so charge cycle 1.25 times every hour. So we've got, what, three battery units here? Is that the minimum or maximum? Um, we'd start, I mean, given it is a premium sort of a product, it would be wise to put a minimum amount of batteries on given the cost involved so that you're getting enough cycles for a return on your investment, part one. A lot of the inverters actually have a a sort of a minimum requirement of amps that they would like to work with. So three is a good start point with our battery. Um, in saying that, we've got one installed with 64 in parallel. So uh, the sky's the limit. I guess your wall's the limit. <laughs> and how much money you've got is another limit. It just, But yeah, very, very scalable. It'll grow with you as your family does, I guess, really nicely. I see you've got them mounted horizontally. Is that the only way you can mount them? Horizontal, uh, vertical. If they're outside, I'd probably don't put this at the top because water may pool in the top. Put it at the bottom. Ideally though, there's a switch and a, an LED light that you'd want to be able to see. My preference is horizontal or if you're a business, write your name on the wall, give you a prize. <laughs> And what are they made of, the casings? Uh, extruded aluminium, extremely strong. Um, there's a video online of us driving over it with a truck, I think you've seen, Glenn. Yeah, so extremely strong, very robust, IP65 rated, so no concerns being on the next external wall of the house. Or a... So I don't really need those piffy little bollards I get from Bunnings? No, I believe our battery is a bollard. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we put these batteries in front of those weaker ones just to protect correct, them? Correct, correct, yep. <laughs> Great, thanks, Ben. No worries. Nice to see you.